Hi, and welcome to our physical therapy center. We know that no one likes to go through pain, injury, or weakness. And we are sorry to hear you are going through this, but we do hope that you find some comfort in knowing that you are going to get the very best possible care while here. In this video, we will be covering some important topics that will help you in getting the most out of your treatment program and maximize your success. So watch this short video in its entirety, and we look forward to seeing you soon. In this video, we will cover what is physical therapy exactly, and some of its myths and misconceptions. A quick description will be given on some of the most common treatments performed by physical therapists. And we'll cover the benefits that you can expect from your program while here, as well as some rules and policies you should be aware of. Then, finally at the end, we'd like to give you a gift to give to your family and friends that might be suffering from pain, injury, or weakness. What is physical therapy? Well, physical therapy is a health and medical science that specializes in helping the body get rapid relief from pain, heal from injury, and enhance performance during work, play, sports, or leisure activities. Even though the benefits are achieved through all natural means that involve no side effects, drugs, or surgery, the results can be quite phenomenal. By focusing on the root causes of your problem and enhancing the body's own healing power, much of the results are longer lasting than traditional treatments. Some of the myths and misconceptions include, physical therapy involves torture. <laughs> Even though you might experience some soreness or discomfort from the movements or treatments, it's usually a good pain and not an increase of your original problem. If for any reason you do feel some discomfort that does last more than 48 hours or so, please let your therapist know. Myth number two, physical therapy is for people who need wheelchairs. Even though we do work with people suffering from severe ailments such as spinal cord injuries, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, and severe arthritis. We also work with children with torticollis or developmental issues, adults with low back and neck injuries, and athletes who are seeking performance enhancement due to weakness and imbalance issues. The list can go on and on, and we won't call, go into detail here, but we want you to understand that just about any pain, injury, or weakness stemming from muscles, joints, nerves, and or tendons can be effectively treated through physical therapy. Last myth number three, physical therapy is mainly about exercise and massage. Even though we do have these two methods in our vast arsenal of tools and procedures, it's not what you might think. It's a much different variation of what you might see in your community gym or massage place. The exercises are not really exercises, but more specifically, they're movements designed to enhance the body's healing, balance, and pain relief. And the massage is not a general type of massage, but more accurately, a mobilization of soft tissue structures for the purpose of normalizing them, which results in enhanced pain relief, balance of musculature, and healing. Physical therapists are movement, biomechanical, and healing specialists requiring a license from the state board. A quick description of some of the most common treatments performed by your physical therapist. Some of the procedures include pressure point release which in this procedure the therapist or the clinical assistant will search for muscles that are actively in spasm or causing the pain. They will then push on the muscle for about one to two minutes. Initially, it will cause some soreness, but it should diminish steadily. With this, it helps to normalize the muscle and improve circulation in that area. Another procedure might be soft tissue mobilization. This is where the therapist or the clinical assistant will apply movement and force to the muscles, ligaments, nerves, or other soft tissue with their hands or some other device. The purpose of this is to promote healing and a normalization of those tissues. 
It's very effective in reducing pain, and sometimes there's discomfort, but most of the time it's a good type of discomfort. It's not going to be increasing your original pain, so don't worry. Another procedure is joint mobilization. This is the application of a force or movement to the joint, and this is usually done with the hands. The purpose of it is to increase the motion of that joint or to modulate and reduce pain. And sometimes, once again, there might be a little bit of discomfort, but typically you feel a whole lot better afterwards. Another very important procedure is kinetic movement. These are movements specifically designed for you to help not only reduce pain, but also to build strength and flexibility and rebalance the musculature of your body. And these customized and specific movements will help achieve that. Benefits you can expect to receive while here. Many patients find significant relief their very first session. And depending on the complexity of their condition, most patients get better within 6 to 12 sessions. Some patients require ongoing maintenance and care on a regular basis, but this is not typical. However, we do provide special programs specifically for this type of scenario. We might offer a post-rehab fitness program, chronic pain relief program, group wellness classes, and so on. For more information, just contact us and we'll be happy to explain this to you further. Rules and Policies We offer a no-wait policy because we know you hate waiting. We do our best to value and respect your time. Subsequently, we ask that you do the same for us and show up to your appointments on time. And actually, it's a good habit to come 5 to 10 minutes early just in case there are any issues with your uh, insurance or paperwork or any of those type of matters. So if you are running late, it's best to call us as early as possible to help us better prepare for the situation. We do not allow appointments to overlap into someone else's appointment time, since that wouldn't be fair to the other patient. So if you are late, you may have to reschedule or wait until the next available time period. Cancellations. If you need to cancel or change an appointment, we require it be done at least 24 hours in advance. This gives us time to put someone else in the slot that needs it.